All right, welcome back to Teach Me Money Methods. And I believe this is day 18 of my building and public series. You can see on the screen and on this spreadsheet that yesterday was a $476 day. Seems to be around the average so far this year. You can see it's pretty steady. We still had a pretty decent day on Warrior Plus. And that tends to die out after you do an affiliate product and it is doing well you'll make the most of your money most of the time on day one and then day two. You usually will have a similar day, maybe a little bit less the next day, and then it starts trickling down during a launch. Now, there is something, a uh, business model, if you're doing launch jacking, then you're going to be picking out a new product on a daily basis, and you would be able to find some consistency with the numbers for the most part. But at the same time, your launches, because you're not going to be able to put as much effort into them and as much time, then you're going to be rushed, right, when you're doing it on a daily basis and you're picking out a new product every single day and you also are limited on time, then you're going to also have less quality, in my opinion, of the reviews. So it balances out. For me, I only like to just do like a maximum of one product launch or promotion per week at this point. So it's paying off pretty good though, but uh, overall pretty good. We got a new customer in Six Figure Freedom Club. Really awesome. If you guys are interested, you can sign up with the uh, link below and uh, you can go check out what I have to offer with the Six Figure Freedom Club community, which is super cool. After recording this video, we'll actually be jumping Jumping on a live call inside the community. We're going to be talking about motivation and goals for 2024. So super excited about that live call we'll be on. But in today's video, real quick, I want to go through this. This is going to be a, a crash course or a real quick lesson on how I've made $250,000 with faceless YouTube channels. It's a step by step guide, but I am going to do it very quickly promise. But the $250,000 if we come over here, I'll actually show you right here that right over here, this is my accounting software. And you can see that this was on January 1st, 2020. That's about as far back as I can track. I believe it was way later on in the year when I started using the software. And then it is January 17th. So that's today, January 17th, 2024, right? So for the last few years, this is how much I've made. I actually made $343,000 in affiliate commissions. I did pay 94,000 in expenses. So if you do the quick math on that, it's $250,000 in profits, not too shabby for these very tiny YouTube channels that are faceless YouTube channels that I teach in my six figure freedom club. And more importantly, if we come up here, just to show you, if I go over the last 12 months, it gets a lot more exciting. Because now you can see that I'm clearly making over $100,000. And that's after expenses in my business, I'm actually profiting that over $100,000. So I believe it was 111,000 in 2023. Now I share that with you just to qualify myself to teach you affiliate marketing and YouTube. It's not to brag or boast or anything like that. It's really just to show you that because I just get so tired of all the, the content on YouTube where people are um, putting up titles like this. This is actually going to be my title for this video because I, I think that this is a, an amazing title and this and it's a hundred percent the truth. I hate and it's a massive pet peeve, and I know you guys know what I'm talking about, but it's a massive pet peeve of mine when I come across a YouTube channel, a title like this, has a great thumbnail, great video editing, and then they actually don't have any proof. If you really watch the video, you get so mesmerized by the video editing and the voiceover and so forth and the concept, but they actually are not showing you real results that this actually could change your life and you could fire your boss and start doing this from home. That's the biggest issue with a lot of the content that's out there. They're not teaching you from experience. It's all rehashed information. There was probably one video out there that was super cool and then people took that title the concept and wrote YouTube scripts, hired video editors, got the voiceover done. But really, they're not showing you the proof like I'm logging into my accounting software and showing you the actual income that I make doing exactly what I'm going to teach you right now. So let's jump in. So this is that's $250,000 in profit. I actually made about three another $100,000 of that in commissions. So really, if we wanted to go with just revenue, what I actually did earn when it uh, came into my business is actually 350,000. Super cool stuff, but what do you do to do this? We're gonna go with step one. We're gonna find an in-demand niche, and this is exactly what I teach. This is not like, I didn't look this up. I literally came up with 
what makes sense and what I teach right here. And I put these all these steps out for you. So we're at step one, find an in demand niche. Let me show you how we would do that. So you can do this a lot. You can go to YouTube and start researching different channels and so forth. There's all kinds of different ways to do this. What I'm going to show you is how you can use ChatGPT. Now, I already did this ahead of time to save time, but I said, give me some high in demand and profitable niches that are perfect for creating faceless YouTube channels on 2024 in 2024. Give 10 for faceless channels where stock video footage and voiceover would be great. Then give 10 that are more geared towards tutorial based style videos where you just cover your record your screen like software review. And so let me the second part right here, I broke this up to cater to both types of audiences. I know that there's people that just do not feel like they can do this, whether they have an accent, there's a, a language barrier, they don't have the tools, software, all kinds of stuff. But this is how I've made all my money right here with a tutorial based type channel where I'm not even on the screen down here where I'm recording, I'm on camera on this channel, but all my other channels, I'm not on screen. So that's why it is, it really is a faceless YouTube channel. But for the vast majority of what everybody else teaches is this kind of style where you can get stock footy, video footage, a voiceover and put together some pretty nice looking videos and just teach. You can't teach technical stuff because you really do need to actually show people technical stuff. But when it comes to like history or motivation or whatever, these will be some good channels as well. ChatGPT comes over here and it tells me what niches for stock video footage. We've got mental health and wellness, travel and destination guides, motivation, and inspiration, documentary style, historical content, financial advice. Look, you could really get into financial advice, go and do your research and so forth, and then just put together the video. Although I think that this, this particular niche, I think is better if you're, you build a personal brand around it, you're on camera, or at least you're recording your screen and really talking and creating the scripts yourself. So I probably wouldn't go for this one. And, and also it's the most lucrative niche online and on YouTube, but it's also the most competitive. So I would stay away from this one if you were to ask me, especially if it's your first channel. We've got space and astronomy, environmental awareness, health and fitness tips, technology and future trends, mindfulness. These are real good ones, right? Now let's come over here. Now it gave us 10 niches for tutorial style based channels software review tutorials, coding and programming languages, graphic design tutorials. I'm going to show you super cool this uh, graphic design one. Absolutely. I built a brand new channel with inside the Canva niche. That's a, a big tool that replaces like Photoshop and so forth. And I created a channel from scratch. It's uh, chasing 10,000 views right now, over 300 subscribers, and it's brand new from scratch. So this stuff definitely works. And I used that niche right there. Video editing techniques. I've got students inside the Six Figure Freedom Club that are building video editing type channels and so forth. And these are just the broad niche. You can definitely go inside here and find one software that you really like to video edit. And you can build all, most of your content around just one piece of software. I also teach that in the six figure freedom club as well digital marketing strategies email all that stuff like you probably wouldn't want to do a broad channel like this you would really want to come in here and only talk about social media or seo or email marketing okay but this gets you started right over here right so this gets you started after we find a high in demand niche, then what do we do, right? You can also go and validate this niche. I'm not going to show how to do that in this video because I need to keep moving, but you can go into some free keyword research tools and see what the search volume is. Just make sure that there's 50 to 100,000 or more searches for your niche. If you're going with the very broad niche, like how to make money online, make sure it's hundreds of thousands of searches. But then once you start sub niching down into like email marketing or something like that, then you want to make sure that there's enough volume. I usually shoot for about 50,000 for my main sub niche that I'm uh, looking for between 50 and 100,000 and you'll be good to go. And that would be called niche validation. Uh, start uh, no, step number two, start a YouTube channel about that niche. Okay, so we're going to go over here and we're just going to pick one of these. Let's just for today, productivity, let's just say we're going to, it's going to mostly be like productivity, software tools and so forth, but productivity is going to be like our main keyword. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to put this in right over here. And you can see uh, I have my title right over here for this YouTube channel for this YouTube video right here. I already knew what I wanted to talk about. It's optimized, ready to go right there. You guys all know that I'm also currently working on the optimization of my titles, testing titles, testing YouTube uh, thumbnails, so forth. Pretty cool stuff. Let's keep moving. So we've got productivity. 
Now what we need to do is in step two, we already started our YouTube channel. So then now we go over here to do your keyword research for videos that and create your content plan. Okay, so there's gonna be a lot of different things we can do. I'm going to go over here and I would just come in here to this uh, new tool I've been using one of 10. And I'm going to go over here and I'm going to just put productivity in right over here. And then I'm going to uh, push search. And now it's going to go out there and find viral videos. We can also, if we really want to go for um, stuff that it just like really did good, you can go and put this dial about a four. We want to look at stuff that was at least four times better uh, on the multiplier. There's a lot of other things. I'm not going to really go through all that right now, but this is going to be looking at, for example, this one performed 13 times better uh, from a subscriber standpoint versus a view standpoint this productivity system will change your life, right? And then you can go, it's super cool, guys. You can go and watch this video, educate yourself on it, and then do your own twist. Create the content from scratch. You can even if you can use the same software that they uh, tell you to use or kind of put together your own game plan. I recommend changing the video and the content at least 10% in your own way. And what I teach is unscripted videos. So I have an outline right over here, right? So I'm coming over here and I have an outline of what I want to talk about, but everything else is unscripted right now. I am just talking off the cuff. And the more that you practice this, the better you'll get at it. And the more genuine your content will come off as well. Now that we've found some videos, we could come over here and we would say this productivity system will change your life, change something about this. You could even stick this in chat GPT and say change 5% of this or change one word in this title. I don't recommend uh, copying the title uh, word for word, change at least one word, or I feel like you won't quite get rewarded uh, by YouTube for just copying titles. But you can see right over here that the, the notice a trend right over here with the titles. They're not truncated. Very rarely are there very long titles that did really well. Look at these short title, pretty short title right there. But look at all these different things, how to be 10 times more productive. This is getting uh, a million views right over here, okay? And then we can come over here and another cool thing up, or, up in filters we can actually go last six months. What's really popping off in the productivity niche right now? And you have this 10 times your productivity with this simple time management technique. You can do this and use this tool. Go and jot down 10, 20, 30. Uh, what I would do is jot down your first 15 videos and shoot for 15 videos. And if you're going to uh, pump them out in your first month, that'd be great. But this is a great tool. Of course, you can go to ChatGPT and you could also say, hey, for number nine, I could say right over here, I could say, give me 10 YouTube title ideas, no more than 60. Now I'm changing my mind from 70 characters to 60 characters because after further research, 60 characters is uh, anything after 60 characters on YouTube titles uh, gets truncated, gets cut off and can impact your video and your clicks. So five minute yoga for beginners. i um, not really sure why it's doing that because, oh, I didn't put, yeah, I didn't put the uh, use this niche and then put productivity and software tools. And now it's going to go and create those for us right here. Maximize efficiency, top five productivity apps. These are the kind of titles that you see that get a million views on them. And now you've got your channel right over here. It's doing a bunch. You're throwing, casting out a net. You're talking about Evernote, Google Keep, all kinds of stuff, right? And then once something pops off, you've got to get your first 20 to 30 videos up. And then you can analyze what content really did well. And then you could go in there and start creating more content on that app. There's all kinds of cool things that you can do. So then we've done our keyword research. We know what our content plan is. We know what we want to create our um, videos on. So then now what do we do? Step number four is to create YouTube videos daily from your keyword list. I've already talked about this. You want to try to get 15 to 20 videos published monthly. You will grow fast. What I'm doing right now for you guys, there are plenty of creators on YouTube that do not have video editors. I have tried and I've actually spent a lot of money on video editors and stuff. My videos don't really do any better. I'm not really telling you what to do, but definitely if you're a beginner, you should be editing your own videos because it's going to cost a lot of money to get the video editing done. But certainly right now I'm recording in Descript, right? And Descript 
script is something that I can record a video and I can get rid of ums and ahs. I can, and you won't even hear that in the video, but you can get rid of what's called filler words. when you're thinking of what your next topic or what you want to talk about, we tend to say and so forth. And that will automatically get rid of it, Descript. And it will also uh, cut out all the silences and so forth. It sharpens up your video and it looks pretty good. And so there are ways that you can actually go out and record your video. And I shoot for an hour. You want to record, edit, do the thumbnail and publish your video in an hour. And I know that's just nuts to even think about. It's for, as a beginner, it's very hard to wrap your mind around the fact that is very possible. But even if we um, gave ourselves two hours, it would still be well worth your time and you would be very proud that you got a video published that day. Who cares what the video editing quality is? You want to get your good content out there, right? And you want to do tutorial. When you're doing tutorial videos, they don't need to be edited all that much. This is what's going to grow your channel, not doing one video per week or one video per month. That's going to take a lot of time and your execution and an estimation on if that topic is good and your video editing is good and your script is good. It has to be really good in order to only do few videos and still grow your channel, if that makes sense, right? So I recommend definitely qu uh, quality videos, but quantity, even a little bit more. So quantity to grow your channel. So that's step four. And then step five, we're going to find products that your audience will love and then you're going to add your affiliate link to the description. So really simple to find productivity. We could even go over here just to AppSumo. For example, I'm an affiliate for AppSumo. We'd come over here and we would go to uh, click on software. And then we'd go over here and we would say marketing and sales. I thought that they had a productivity uh, section over here, but I'm just going to go over here. I'm just going to type in productivity. And then you have all these apps over here. And look, they do have a productivity. So I'm going to click on productivity. And then look, you have 62 products over here that you could even go and review on your channel, all these productivity apps over here and so forth. So there's so many things that you can do. There's so many products. And then if you're creating your content mostly around one app that you really like and use in your business, then of course, become an affiliate of that product so that you can put that in every, every description of the videos that you are doing and you have a lot of a good chance of people that are researching if they want to become a customer or so something or maybe they're a free customer and you convince them why they need the pro version maybe they click on your your link and they go and sign up for the pro plan and then you still get paid for it so super cool stuff and then last but not least make more rinse and repeat daily. This is a simple, not easy. I'm not saying it's easy, but it is a simple process. Create a video and publish, create a video and publish. That's very simple that almost anybody can do, but that's where it gets tricky, right? It's not easy. You do have to work for it. So this is a simple, not easy method that if you put your head down and stick with it, you most likely will find success. You have to work for success, guys. There is no magic pill or magic button to push. Taking action and putting in the work is the only way to success. That is what I believe. I don't care if there's a uh, multi-million dollar gurus that say to work 15 minutes a day and you can become a millionaire. Chances are 99.9% .9 of people that become millionaires worked their butts off for it. And then funny thing is that when you become a millionaire, you don't stop working, right? You, you always um, have new goals that you set and so forth. But I will say that after you build your audience, it does become um, a lot easier. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that uh, quick affiliate marketing training and how I did make $250,000 in profits after um, all my business expenses and I used only faceless YouTube channels. So this is the real stuff of really making real money with faceless YouTube channels and you guys can go out there and follow this plan and do it as well. Let's go, and because I am still doing the Building in Public series, doing a little bit different style today, I'm just working in. Um, I'm going to still work in the, the stuff at the beginning and the end, but we're going to go over here and just look at the last video, and I have I think Roz says, I think despite the thumbnails you created are good, people are gotten used to seeing those ones all the time and slowly became blind on those money per day videos to be honest with you. So I found your channel and I know you're providing great content and not really looking anymore on other similar videos showing that. So you're, so I guess what you're saying is, is that you're clicking on my videos because you're following me and so forth, but you really have been avoiding those kind of thumbnails because like I went over in this video, most of them are not truthful, right? They're just throwing up a number and guess what? They're putting up like a million dollars or something in there. And then they're just showing you a channel that makes that much money, right? They're not making the money. It's not 
They're only going off of theory and a concept. They're not doing the work themselves. And that's the difference that separates me from most of those other channels and videos that everybody else, the masses are watching. And it's just straight up annoying to tell you the truth. But anyways, so it sounds like AI thumbnails are a bit more creative these days until those become boring. I definitely can see your point. Absolutely, I can see your point right there. I think I'm gonna start testing one that I create myself and then one I'm gonna do the AI and then I'm gonna let the thumbnail tester just decide which one is best. And I'll alternate which one between putting the AI one as day one versus my custom made one as day one, right? So we have, I think Andrea is part of my Six Figure Freedom Club. I know I have an Andrea in there, but I think this is you. Hey, David, loving your building a public series. I like the more personable, bold letter thumbnails best. So Andrea likes the ones that I've been putting out there with the money on it and all that. I think they look a lot more professional. Absolutely. I'm surprised that is just not popping off. Uh, will you also test a thumbnail like that with just words without your picture? Curious. I'm going to do that for this video for you. I'm going to do that exact test. And I'm going to actually, I'll put the first video, the first thumbnail for the whole first day. We'll test it without my picture on there and we'll just see what happens. And then Vasti, I personally do not like Taja. So uh, Vasti doesn't really like the AI images, right? So we get a mix of different things over here. You can't read the text unless, yeah, I could take it into Canva and and add a big, bold text. I've done that for the Canva channel. Definitely know that strategy. I can do that. The bigger letters with the daily amounts would interest any person wanting to make more money. I do agree. It is mind boggling. So what's really going on is a mystery. Maybe with so much interest in AI, people see the Taja AI generated image and that relates to them. You could try Taja or another AI generated image and write some big letters over the image while keeping the AI theme. Yeah, I'm going to do that as well. So appreciate you guys showing up and commenting and just really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next video.